It's honestly weird to be buying this much stuff. Oh wow, that's actually not okay. Just looking up and seeing that low amount of V-Bucks. All the stuff I bought, so this is just stacked now. Hey guys, what's up? The Gaming Bunny here. As you guys saw from that little preview, we're going to be going on a huge spending spree today. We got nearly 12,000 V-Bucks up there in the corner. Let's go ahead and check out the item shop already. So the superhero skins are back, but we're not going to be getting any of these. I used to own this one, Blast Off, but I didn't really use him much, so I just kind of refunded him for the V-Bucks pack. I did buy his hero gear. Obviously, this wasn't like refundable or anything, but I think it's pretty good. I used to hollow back sometimes, and the pickaxe is pretty good. So moving on to the daily. I already own a decent amount of it. I bought the whole icon series and obviously that's one of them. Rada missions came out kind of recently. I don't really know why it's back already but I highly encourage you guys to buy this item right here. It's only 200 V-Bucks and it's literally never going to come back out again. It's technically exclusive for chapter 2 season 5 FNCS and it's kind of simple. You guys might as well just buy it. But what we're going to buy here is Twisty. So this skin is pretty good. I've been waiting for it for a while. It reminds me of iTalk Fortnite. He would actually put this in his locker bundle if he had one as well as Golden Cloud so I actually really hope he gets a bundle. The skin is just colorful and it's meme and it just kind of reminds of season 7. I remember it released near the time that Reflex and Instinct were in the shop. I really like this skin. Uh, I kind of want her pickaxe as well so I'll be happy if that ever gets updated for the new shop. So yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get into our first purchase of the video. We got Twisty over here. <laughs> Look at her eyes bro. There we go though. We got the Twisty skin and then the Twisty inflator back bling. This is kind of funny. Let's go ahead and claim that. First purchase is down. We're still at five digits, but that's not going to last for long. The squatting dog locker. I am going to buy this, but let's get to that a little bit later. Special offers. I literally own the entire icon series, so all these emotes have been owned. I um, already got the Street Fighter bundle. The Xenomorph bundle. It's just called the Ripley and Xenomorph bundle, but this is actually a pretty good price, I would say. Only 2200 V-Bucks. The main reason I'm buying this is for the loading screen, to be honest. It sounds really stupid, but I own every loading screen in the game besides two. The two that I'm missing are this one and the one for killing the Mythic Storm King and Save the World, which I'm kind of working on. But yeah, I mean, I have the V-Bucks. I might as well just buy this for the loading screen. It's the only epic one, which is kind of random. And uh, this dude has a built-in emote on his tail. I don't really like him too much. I feel like his ADS would be kind of weird but Ellen Ripley is pretty cool. She just looks kind of simple. The back bling is pretty funny as well. But yeah, I probably wouldn't be buying this if it didn't have a loading screen, which is kind of funny, but I mean, I might as well. Let's go ahead and purchase that. There we go. We got the Xenomorph bundle. Let's go ahead and hit next on all this stuff. The Xeno Slurp loading screen. I'm just going to go ahead and equip that. Damn, we're at four digits now. <laughs> we dropped so much already. I'm not going to be buying the Space Gear bundle. I don't really think it's worth it. That pickaxe is genuinely huge. This emote is just awkward. This glider is huge. I don't really see the worth. Do you honestly think you're- This bundle is extremely interesting. 2,500 for two skins and two pickaxes. Two backlinks, I guess, as well. I'm pretty conflicted on this, to be honest, because I love the Walking Dead show, game, and comics, and all that. But I just don't think these skins translate well into Fortnite. The show is going to end after its next season, so these skins might not come back. And I really am a huge fan of the Walking Dead so I just might as well have these on my account. I don't know how much I'm going to use them. They're more of a collectible, but I mean, once again, I have the V-Bucks, so let's go ahead and purchase this bundle. It's honestly weird to be buying this much stuff. I haven't really done a spending spree in a while. I kind of have with my V-Bucks. I'll show you guys uh, my recent purchases. But yeah, we have the Hunter's purchase now. I already have Master Chief. I actually think this stuff is pretty decent. I wish it didn't have the uh, Techno Grip Axe, so the price would be less. I do love the two skins though, but I just don't think I'm going to be buying it. I don't know how much I would use these. It is just going to have to be a pass for me on this one. I already own Crate. This dude is cool and all, right? But I just am not familiar with G.I. Joe at all. He's 1800 V-Bucks, which is enough for an entire set in some cases. So yeah, I am going to also pass on this one. But if you guys want to support me in the item shop, make sure you support a creator code TGB. Probably should have mentioned that while buying the other stuff, but it's all good. Oh, wow. That's actually not okay. Just looking up and seeing that low amount of V-Bucks from what it used to be is just crazy. Yeah, if you guys want to support me, code TGB, hashtag ad. Um, and as for the icons, once again, guys, we literally own all of these. We own the entire icon series. And that's it besides the squatting dogs locker bundle. I think this locker bundle is really good. It was literally out for two hours and I was just about to get it. And then it just gets removed from the game and it's been gone for 40 days. So Mullet Marauder is decent. Slick and Hot Ride are really good items. And I feel like for 2,500 getting all of this is really good. Cause if I were to just buy these two items, it would be 2,000. So I might as well spend 500 more for the Pink Flamingo as well as the Mullet Marauder. I do have an alt account though that I used to grind save the world. So we're gonna go ahead and gift the Slick emo and then spend 2,000 on the rest of the bundle. But before we do that, I just wanna quickly show you guys 
guys all the stuff I bought so this is just stacked now but we got the flash bundle we got a few icon emotes the galactic spiral wrap because we collect the wraps we just finished off cypher case locker bundle about the street fighter stuff I'm super happy about fresh bringing back instinct I remember I made a video when instinct was first in the shop I didn't buy it way back in season 8 because I was just mad over reflex but the skin is pretty good so I'm super happy he brought it back we got another wrap another music pack laser beam I think he deserves a skin it is honestly pretty cool white out I just bought this locker bundle because I have every single locker bundle besides one which is the Benji Fishy one because I just thought it was kind of plain so I didn't buy it. Got Ant-Man, I got this other wrap and then we have the stuff from today obviously. I feel like I have more refunds than every single person watching this video. Most of you guys probably have zero which is unfortunate. I would actually have eight refunds but I bought a soccer skin way back in season four when they first came out on accident and I really needed the V-Bucks so I refunded it. Oh my god it looks weird to see this much stuff. I really have five new outfits here. Twisty, Xenomorph, Ellen Ripley, Michonne, and Daryl Dixon. I can just touch on some of these skins I got in the last 30 days as well. It's honestly just cool to see three whole rows. I've gotten 18 skins and squatting dog will be the 19. So basically like 20 skins in the last month. That's just ridiculous. I got this Mary Gold pack. I buy all the limited time offers and got both of the crew packs obviously. We don't talk about Orin. I really just don't like the skin at all. Let's go ahead and see the back blinks over here. They kind of just jumbled in through here. Ew, the Xenomorph tail looks so weird. Michonne's katana is pretty clean. Hunting Quiver is such a simple back bling. I didn't realize how small it was. And we just have the two pickaxes from the Walking Dead bundle. Oh, but I probably should show you guys. I got this lamp. I just thought it was funny. It's literally just a lamp. This pickaxe came with Fresh's locker bundle, this close shave one came with Cyphers, and then I have Pizos as well. Let's honestly just toss on the lamp, because why not? And then we have the loading screen, which we spent like 2200 V-Bucks for, for literally no reason. I just favorite kind of a random selection. Some of these are Twitch drops, I think. And then a few of these are just kind of save the world. I only made like one or two videos last season, but I thought it was worth mentioning. I also bought like literally every Marvel item that was in the item shop. These were all in the item shop yesterday, and it was just funny seeing like own for literally everything. But yeah, that's just a tour of what I've been buying this season and kind of last season. Let's go ahead and gift over Slick and buy the rest of the squatting dog bundle. What the hell is that? I did not know she had facial expressions. That is the most cursed thing I've ever seen in my life. Hey yo, big shout out to myself for this gift, El Mal. Let's go ahead and claim this emote. There it is, Slick in the first slot of her emote wheel. My team also got number one for the Hearts Wild community battle, so I got a couple of these, and then this is just from the Twitch drop. I'm so happy to have Slick here, it's honestly so sick. Let's go ahead and finish off the Squatting Dog Locker Bundle. This is honestly my favorite purchase, because I've just been waiting for ages for this. There we go. Mullet Marauder, the Boombox Backling, the Hot Ride Glider, and of course the pink flamingo harvesting tool. There he is on all of his glory. The back one doesn't even look bad on her either. This pickaxe is pretty old. You guys can tell by the fact that it still costs 1500 even though it's kind of basic. The hot ride glider. I'm honestly so happy about this. These are the two gliders I wanted. The royal dragon and the hot ride and I'll have them both. The locker honestly just looks stacked up here. That concludes our spending spree everybody. Let's go ahead and see the damage that we caused with our V-Bucks here. So we bought a skin and then three bundles and I just kind of showed you guys everything else I've been up to with season four and five in terms of cosmetics. Hopefully Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We do have season 6 coming in 2 days. Right now I'm recording this on a Sunday night and this video is going to be uploaded on a Monday. So Monday night is downtime and then Tuesday is season 16. I'm honestly just hyped for like the lore part of it with the 7 and Agent Jones kind of going rogue and all of that. Thank you guys for all the continued support despite the lack of uploads. I do read every comment because I only get like 2 comments a week so it's really easy to keep up with. And big shout out to you guys who reach out on other platforms as well. Just know I see you all and I appreciate everybody. I'll see you all later. And Peace.